Hi ladies, today we are talking about something really exciting and top of mind for a lot of us and that is travel. For mo some of us, um, travel is finally um, something that is happening and we are starting to plan where we're going, especially with um, summer coming into the Northern Hemisphere. So today we're talking about um, perfect packing partners, pieces that will make your life so easy as well as how to pack and talking about the relaunch of our gorgeous packing cubes which helps um, make packing so much simpler um, so that you're so totally organized when you arrive at your destination so it doesn't matter whether you're planning um, something overseas or you're planning something locally these pieces work for both um, so we have gone through it as a design team and pulled a collection of our favorite travel pieces. Obviously this is uh, weather dependent and a lot of these are focusing on local travel, but as with most repertoire pieces, you know, a lot of them can be worn um, all throughout the year. So we're going to start with our beautiful little collect top. This is um, one of the most amazing little pieces. It looks great with the joggers, it looks great with jeans, it looks great with a skirt. It's in this um, really forgiving fabric that's easy to wash, it doesn't crease. It comes in the white, in this gorgeous marshmallow pink, and of course the stunning blue. And these are pieces, have a slightly sporty um, vibe, they've got nice um, anti-fit shape, so really, really easy um, to wear, especially if you're looking for that comfort factor, but still a sporty, edgy look. And of course, teaming that with a jogger and a sneaker, because a great sneaker is always going to have a place in a travel wardrobe. It's just the perfect, perfect um, little piece uh, to take wherever you're going. So in terms of that top, one of my favorites is a um, really easy um, sort of comfy uh, trouser. This is our Joseph Drop Crutch Pant. Um, so for those of you that are looking for an edgy trouser that looks stunning with a loafer or with a sneaker, this pant is really fantastic and of course looks brilliant with the Colette top and you are going to have that ease of comfort and travel. Another great pant, obviously, is a jogger. This year, the satin jogger is such a great piece. Why we love this one in a travel wardrobe is because it has lots of attitude with um, during the day, especially if you team it up with a gorgeous jumper. Um, and this is our um, Ellie jumper, and which with a white t-shirt underneath and white sneakers or black sneakers, just a travel outfit made in heaven. But then when you go out on date night, because the, pat the pant is a satin, it just completely um, uh, get dresses up and can take you out for dinner. So a pant that's really going to work hard as a multitasker. Another great one, and we've pulled the camel one, but it doesn't matter whether it's camel or it's uh, khaki or it's black or navy, is the Jake or Java trousers. These are high stretch, so they feel like you're wearing a trackie, but so, so comfortable um, and easy to travel with, really, really resilient. You don't have to worry about um, traveling in them. And then teaming that with a gorgeous longer cardigan that kind of doubles up as a jacket. So it doesn't matter whether you put a blouse under that or you sneak a beautiful little logo tee and you put your um, comfy um, Javas or Jakes. You've just got this kind of edgy, chic, but really, really um, uh, relaxed and casual uh, vibe going. And all these pieces really travel beautifully. And I'm going to pack a couple of them for you. Another favorite, of course, is our bay dress. And you know that we're a big fan of bay. Bay, again, is that lovely stretch um, uh, mechanical knit. You can wear it as a dress on its own with the jacket layered over the top, or you can layer under with a gorgeous little layering piece. Having one or two of these layering pieces in black, white, and maybe a beautiful blue, is going to mean that you can change um, 
uh, pieces depending on what the weather's doing. So if you're leaving New Zealand and you're wearing this, you obviously have your layering piece when you arrive wherever you are and it's much hotter because you're arriving in summer, you take the top off underneath and you've got a perfect little dress. I did this in Bali um, and that is one of the, um, the original stories of how Bay Dress became because my girlfriend said, oh my God, you're wearing the same dress how come you've kept that secret all to yourself? Because um, I, I, had, I left in one outfit and arrived in what looked um, totally different, but was completely okay for the weather when we arrived. Great knitwear um, for weekends away and travel is um, really a, a great piece to um, uh, consider. We have the Macy um, little, um, sorry, the Marnie uh, little jumper. This is a silk wool. So very, very um, fine, so light and easy to pack. Comes in some beautiful colors, great layered under jackets, under trench coats, under denim jackets. So a piece that you can just grab and really easy to um, pack. A little pop of color is always gonna be fabulous in a, in a travel wardrobe. Just, you know, I just, I'm currently having a love affair on camel and pink together. I just think it looks so gorgeous. But, um, you know, just popping that into your travel bag makes total sense. This, ladies, is one of my favorite travel pieces and is certainly on my um, list to travel on the 9th of May because I am off for a little while with my daughter overseas. Perfect for the, the airplane with a white t-shirt underneath, my black Javas, and of course these very cool sneakers which I have already um, put my name to. So um, I love this deep open V. It feels um, easy and cool. It's got um, a lovely um, snuggly feel. It's a nice weight. So if I get hot, I can literally just throw it over my shoulders or I can just tie it around my waist. So a really, really great piece. This is the same as uh, the, um, the stone one, which is over here. So it comes in the two colorways, just a beautiful piece to travel in. Some other travel greats to not forget is a great pair of jeans. It doesn't matter whether you're going out or you're going out during the day, it goes with everything, you know, with our blazers and with trench coats, you can up, um, up style this, but then you can also put your sneakers and your denim, um, with your denim and your jumpers, and you've got a day wear look. So a great jean, never goes awry in a travel wardrobe. Just focusing on jackets, this is where our gorgeous trench coats really, really come into their own. Starting with uh, the little Rory Trench, what a great piece um, to throw over any of the pieces I've shown you. Blouses, dresses, shirts, jumpers. I think we've already had some um, customers that are traveling to far uh, corners of the earth um, posting on Style Tribe their trench coats, um, the long one called a Rider, which we have here in the black. Just such an easy throw on and really, really pack well but also that great piece that you can um, take into the cabin with you if you're traveling by aircraft, or, um, and you can just fold it up, stick it at the top, take it down, and you're good to go, and it's got that relaxed, easy um, uh, feel. I love that they have this very, very high stretch um, content to them, so when you're grabbing for suitcases and carrying and running around, it's just super, super practical and they travel and pack amazingly. And I will, sh if you're not gonna travel with it on, on your body, then they track really nicely into packing cells. The other great piece, of course, is a little denim jacket. Oh my God, Team um, pop some beautiful brooches on it, um, a gorgeous scarf. Um, it goes over the bay dress like a dream. And here we have the bay in color. Um, I've just showed you earlier in the um, black, but what a great little travel piece, very high stretch. Again, just a simple little t-shirt or this beautiful soft um, knitwear underneath. Um, where's the Macy gone? It should be here. Here she is. Perfect for layering underneath and then teaming up with a great um, uh, cargo pocket pant, sneakers, loafers, cargo boots, um, just a really, really cool look. So ladies, lots of options and last but not least, 
is a great le uh, leather jacket, especially if you're going to a colder a climate. What a way of um, upstyling an outfit. It just looks so cool. It makes everything that you're wearing quite edgy. Doesn't matter if you've got a simple t-shirt and a pair of jeans on, adding a little stylish leather jacket elevates that outfit and just makes it so chic. So um, we've also want to just talk about, she's a little heavier, but she's absolutely one of my top favorite travel pieces. I, it's the Suffragette jacket. She folds up really, really beautifully, and I'm gonna show you how I pack it, and she packs down really nice and tight. This is the kind of jacket you can put on for um, day wear, for evening wear. It feels like you're wearing a long cardigan, but it looks so stylish. So if you're hitting the um, fashion stores and you just want to look a little bit stylish with your jeans and your jumper underneath, Suffragette is going to be your best friend. And look at that. She just unpacks completely beautifully. So now to go to the packing cells. So ladies, here we have our fabulous repertoire branded packing cubes. And this is a must for any fashionista that wants to arrive knowing where everything is. We have designed it around four sizes. Um, one for your smalls, which is bras, panties, um, petticoats, that kind of thing. One that you could put your t-shirts and uh, small tops. One that takes your pants and your skirts. And then this slightly bigger one, which I actually uh, trialed for Kelsey when we designed these, to put jackets in because it just has a little bit more space. The beauty of them is that they are, um, they've got a panel here, so you actually can pack quite a lot in them. And I'm going to just open one because this is where they get really sophisticated. They have this cute little, um, elastic catch here so once you've packed everything in you put you clip this and it holds everything that you've packed in there beautifully why packing uh, cubes ladies well firstly your clothing doesn't arrive creased and why that happens is because once these are all nicely packed and they nice they form nice deep cubes you pack them into your suitcase and I'm just showing four here, but I have two sets of these and I um, normally just pack my case like this. They stack one into the other. So when you pick your suitcase up, they are leaning against one another. So they are staying in place and your clothes aren't all falling down to the one end of the case and being pushed and then go, going the other way. So they all arrive creased because they're getting crushed as they move within the case. In these packing cells, they're staying in the position that you put them, so there's no crushing. So when you open it, everything is there, it's beautifully packed. So I'm going to just show you a little bit about what I do with jackets, because they are probably the trickiest to, to pack. And I um, mentioned to a customer in New Plymouth recently that I travel with jackets. And she said, yes, but they get so creased. I have a little hack that I do um, with jackets because jackets are my absolute favorite uh, fashion pieces. So I tend to travel with a few to give me those more dramatic um, outfits and really keep it simple um, on the bottom half, especially with pieces like bay dress. So I'm gonna be talking a little bit about how to pack jackets. But I just want to share a little hack in terms of shoes. When you buy shoes and they come in a box, invariably lately they come in these little um, microfiber uh, bags, which we often throw away with the packaging that comes with the shoes. Don't throw them away, ladies. Keep them because what I do, especially with things like sneakers, is that you just uh, pop them into these bags and when you're packing them in or on top or down the side or wherever you've got space, this is protecting your clothes and the bag from uh, your shoes. The other little thing that I do, especially if you're traveling with hiking boots or sneakers and you're walking a lot, is in a lot of the stores you get the little sneaker balls, which have got a smell. You put them into your sneakers. And what that does is when you, because when your sneakers are, you've been wearing them, and you, they're in a closed suitcase for a period of time, and you open that, the whole suitcase can smell a little bit sort of stale. 
But if you put little um, uh, smelly cubes or sachets into your travel, it just keeps everything lovely and fresh. And when you open your suitcase, it just feels like everything's nice and pristine. So just a little um, trick for those of you that do big walking. I know um, certainly I plan to do a lot of that. So that is one of my little um, hacks when it comes to keeping things fresh in a suitcase that's been traveling for 28 hours. Um, and you arrive and everything's a little bit stale. Right, so getting, we're gonna look at maybe um, the suffragette jacket and packing the rider. So suffragette is really simple because it's a stunning um, mechanical stretch knit. I just literally fold the jacket into thirds. I'm actually gonna do it this way so the collar goes on top and here, you will see it just pops in here really nicely look at that i could even have made that a little wider but you can see how much that's going to take and then i'm going to grab the little wider trench which is such a great piece um trick always button up your jackets if you've got a blazer turn it inside out keep your collars flat because those are what you don't want creased so tend to do that, fold it over, fold it over, and then in the middle. There, so that collar is going flat onto the other side, and that one will just go on top there like that. Now for packing um, something that's a little bit more precious, like a leather jacket or a blazer, where you will want to try and keep um, creases out. So we'll take the uh, Signet leather jacket, we zip it up, and this is where some great pieces of tissue paper come in. I use tissue paper and what that does is it creates an air vacuum um, and it just ensures that everything stays nice and easy. And then I literally would just fold this jacket in half like that. And can you see there, it's all scrunchy and bunchy. And that actually protects the leather from creasing. And here you can see that it fits in literally perfectly into the cell. So there's three jackets already, girls. Right, I'm going to take a tricky blazer. I'm going to take the gorgeous double-breasted Bradshaw blazer. So one of the tricks I do is I always turn blazers or more structured jackets inside out. They just travel better that way sorry I've got a lot of space here but we'll just do this and then we do the same thing sorry girls this is a little bit rough you're going to do it a little bit more thoughtfully at home but I'm going to give you the gist of it there we go I've got another piece of tissue paper here same thing keeping that collar nice and flat there putting your arms across, then flipping. Depending on the size of your cell, but I reckon I can get it in like that. So again, the uh, lining is capturing air in between the fabric, the two fabrics. So it's creating a buffer for creasing. And um, you just add that into the top of your cells. And then you grab your little and I honestly think I could probably put one more jacket or a jumper. Let's show you. Because these are easy peasy to pack. You can get a heap in, girls. You keep that, you snap that closed like that. Just push everything nicely down. So this is what you don't want. You want everything going towards the edge and nice and as straight as you can and then you zip it up look at that it's even got a little handle for taking it out your suitcase it'll be the best $79 you will spend on your travel budget and then this is the beauty this is my little case that I travel quite a lot with it's a samsonite it's really great and it perfectly fits that in there like that and then you I haven't packed these but you can imagine that I would 
kind of cross, oh, sorry, cross pack these, probably put another one here, my cosmetic bag, um, hair things and whatever. And then I would put my sneakers or shoes um, in their little bags, sort of into the sides, because there's often a little bit of space around the edges um, of suitcases. So when you arrive at your destination and you're unpacking, you know that all your jackets are in one place, all your t-shirts are in one place. You're not digging through your suitcase trying to find things. If you're trying to grab something out quickly, you know exactly where everything is. It just keeps everything organized, beautifully um, packed, not creasy. There'll be a few creases. Nothing that you can't um, hang out when you're having a hot shower in the bathroom. Another little hack. Or alternatively, I sometimes, if there's no iron in the hotel, just literally take the lid off the kettle, boil the kettle and use the steam of the kettle to um, take the few wrinkles that may be in these garments. Um, but everything that we've spoken through today is real, real travel friendly. So um, have fun with them. They're also an amazing, amazing gift um, to give people that are traveling or um, you know going away. Um, they really, really are, are, are handy. I've even got my husband hooked on repertoire traveling cells. So um, it's just, it makes life so much simpler. So I hope you found this helpful, ladies. Please um, leave any comments or questions down the bottom and um, I will try and answer them um, for you if I can. Thank you so much.